this week was amazing. Uh, it really blew my mind. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for everybody that, that participated in the last uh, webisode. I remember standing at the altar, praying the sinner's prayer, and I got saved, and, and I was crying, and, and I, I remember it as if, as if it was yesterday. I mean, you know, when you get saved, you're all excited and you want to learn more about Christ and you want to, you want to testify and, and it goes on and goes on. And I mean, I remember we had a, uh, the church had a power hour session. So what that means, an hour before church, we would rock up there and we would start praying. We start praying, we start praying. And it, it started spilling over into church. When church started and it just blew up amazing and I remember that it was the most exciting time of my life. To cut the long story short, I was so on fire for Christ. There was this preacher, I mean, like truly there is no school like the old school. And this preacher was on fire. I was I was in awe of what I what I saw. Where has these guys gone? The evangelists of old, where there was no prosperity message. It was point blank, black or white. Either you serve the Lord or you don't. In fact, that was one of the things that he said. Either you serve God wholeheartedly or you don't. And Revelation two says, I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles, but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name, and have not grown weary. Yet, I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. Remember the height from which you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. I, I, I looked at this preacher and I looked at my life and I looked at when I got saved and how on fire I was. And I looked at where we are right now as a church and what we've gone through. I mean, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? There is people dying. There's people that's yearning to hear the word of God. We have forsaken, which means we have left our first love. And I have left my first love. I looked at this preacher and he was preaching as if it was his very last day on this earth. And it was a memorial service. I was blown away and I needed to look at my heart. I needed to look at who I am and how I have lost my first love. How I have forsaken my first love. Declaring that Christ is King is our mandate and we lost it. We are easily excited to declare the riches of our King. But we, we, we're reluctant to, re, to, to preach and, and teach a repentant service, a repentant heart. We, we lost it. We neglect it. We want to speak things of encouragement that, that, that you know what, you have the power of life and death in your tongue. If you speak it, it will be so. You, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain and it will lift itself up and put itself in the sea. And we, we want to speak about these, these amazing, amazing, amazing testimonies and word of God. But we neglect the one thing that is most important that God has called us for to go out and make disciples of all nations. We are so consumed by our own image, 
by our own desires, by our own ambition in Christ. Myself included. So, with all this said and done, my plea to us as a church, to us as people that, that proclaim that we love Christ, that we want to serve Him, I pray that this message will become now a reality, not just in my heart, but in your heart, witnessing this right now, this week. I pray that the Holy Spirit will remind us of where we have forsaken. At which point did we neglect and leave our first love? At which point we became lovers of ourselves? I pray that the Holy Spirit reminds us of this and helps us get back that fire and the zeal and the, the earnest desire to see our friends that is not saved, to see our community that is not saved, to see the dying and the, the hopeless saved. I pray that this will become our desire. I pray that this will become our, our mandate that we will pick it up and we will follow Jesus. I watched a movie and it says, do you believe in the cross? And this guy answers, yes, I'm a pastor. I believe in the cross. And this other guy that asked the initial question, what are you doing about it? We so easily proclaim that we serve the Most High God. But what are you doing about it? Are you selfish? You've got the cure to people's heartache. You've got the cure to people's disease living inside of us. But we neglect it because we want to keep it to ourselves. So if there's anyone that anybody here right now that is watching this that has that has never heard the message or you've heard the gospel and you have never committed your life to Christ, I pray that you will right now raise your voice and ask God for forgiveness. You ask Him for forgiveness. You repent of a sinful nature. You repent of a selfish nature.